This is a video on how to fix an F5 E3 error code on your Whirlpool Duet front load. Now I've already fixed mine, but I haven't put it back together again yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart again and show you exactly what goes wrong with it. If you're able to open your door, open your door and remove the spring that attaches to the rubber. Once you have that off, simply peel this rubber back and use a T20 to remove the switch. Believe me, this only takes like a couple of minutes. And once I found out the problem, after about two hours, it blew my mind. You save hundreds on repairs. If you're capable of using it, screwdriver you're capable of using this. After those two screws are removed, you simply move this item out. There's two. Two plugs here. The black one has a pinch that you push. The white one you simply pull uh, away from or towards the larger part of the body to unplug it. Hopefully we're still in focus. Okay, as you see, the device has been removed. Now we'll take it over to the table. Let's show you exactly what we got going on here. We'll refer to this as the top and this is the bottom. There is a spring in here for this plunger. But you want to make sure that you don't lose that, it might fly out. These things simply pop up. Try and go around and put a little bit of pressure on each one of them as you're going around. Keep a little bit of tension on them so they all stay unlocked. Once you get them unlocked, oh, you heard one snap back. A lot harder to do on video than it is in person. I just locked another one. Almost there. Uno mas. All right, this thing simply pops right off. And this is what's going on in here. The door fails to unlock because of a spring located right below this spring. It's supposed to ride inside of that detent as you push on this button here. It's supposed to ride up and down, and a lot of times from slamming the door, that little spring pops off of that, so it needs to it needs to be reset back into that curve. I don't know if you can, if you can see it that well. Take that spring right the fuck off of there. You can probably see it a little bit better now. There's that little spring in there. I don't have zoom. Like everybody does. That little spring pops out of its little catch. And it should be within there. It rides up and down kind of like a ballpoint pen. If it's not set in there, the door will not uh, unlock or if you happen to have it opened and it's locked, it will not shut. So before you replace this whole unit, take it apart, pull that top spring off, 
and make sure that that bottom spring is in there and each time you press on this right now it won't act actuate because it's in the open position but it's supposed to move up and down and it goes up and down just like on a ballpoint pen thanks for watching keep your dick in a vice